Hi, Rana. Pleasure seeing you. Uh, see you again. Hi, Rana. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, pleasure to see you too. Uh, hopefully, uh, we see each other live uh, uh, soon again because uh, uh, well, with COVID, working from home, or I'm, I'm now in the office actually, but uh, it's uh, it's a bit different than uh, than it used to be. It's definitely, definitely different. Um, but life goes on, and so does the uh, logistics markets. Um, uh, uh, my impression is it's it's booming, but you have a far better picture in your um, in your role and capacity. So if you if you if you have, if you look across Europe, what are your opinion? What's your opinion about the uh, European uh, logistics market? How is it developing? Um, yeah, the, the the European logistics uh, real estate market is is doing actually very well, and uh, due to an in increase of online shopping uh, caused by uh, COVID nineteen, the European uh, logistics market really uh, accelerated in uh, in in twenty twenty, and 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 we see that uh, um, it's also for twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah, and 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 the Netherlands, if how do the Dutch? Uh uh, do you compare to uh, to others? Well, the, the Netherlands, of course, is a, a, a logistics uh, a country uh, due to the natural uh, position uh, with the North Sea and the inland rivers, and where we have a good infrastructure. Uh, many goods in, that go into Europe or go out Europe uh, go through the ports of Rotterdam. So logistics is uh, uh, has always been uh, hot in, uh, in in the Netherlands, but uh, uh, at the moment it it, it is. Uh, uh, very hot, so to speak. Um, you see that uh, demand from investors is uh, is going up. Uh, you see tenant demand is is going up. You see rents going up. Land availability is scarce. Uh, uh, there's limited pipeline, so supply is going uh, is going down. Down, and you see is, uh, you uh, we experience a lot of uh, yield compression. And, and 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 do you feel that 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 that, that consumers are uh, uh, increasingly uh, ordering online as a result of COVID? Is that fair to say? Uh, I think that trend was al already uh, uh, going on, but due to COVID, uh, um, it, it 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 really accelerated. And if you look at in the Dutch market, for example, you had a you have the the supermarket picnic that started uh, about three four years ago. And they uh, like tripled their their turnover or more uh, during the the, the uh, uh, due to COVID, and um, um, that th that you see also with with other uh, uh, supermarkets, they have to uh, uh, keep up with the competition in in, in that area. And <clears throat> it is basically once once you're in uh, you're in, uh, and you, you once you get uh, accustomed to online ordering, uh, you you you. you repeatedly do so uh, and, um, and and that that accounts for for close shopping uh, uh, as well so i think that that has increased uh, the demand for for logistics uh, uh, heavily and and if i if i read the newspaper i also see that um uk um, for uh, uk corporates moving from from the uk and establishing a hub here in in, in mostly in the netherlands um, I read the newspaper. I, I don't see it in my practice. What what is your view on that? Do you, do you see that in your in your end users? Are they from UK no, from, corporates? Uh, if you uh, specifically on logistics, I don't think that that's happening. But if you refer to offices, you see that uh, it does happen. Uh, not a lot, but but uh, you, you see it. You see it happening. Uh, um, or that at least uh, <coughs> companies from the UK want to have uh, offices uh, uh, in, uh, on, on, on the mainland of Europe. So uh, uh, and, and sometimes they even choose to have their head office here then, but then most of the people might stay in, uh, in the UK. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you mentioned the, the scarcity of, um, of land, which is absolutely true. But I must say from a legal perspective, um, there are some issues re regarding uh, nitrogen uh, deposition, and and that is increasingly becoming a a a hurdle for new development, also for for new users. Is that something you can recognize in uh, in, in in your um, in your work? Yeah, it, 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 uh, yeah, you can only issue the land once, uh, and and then uh, it's questionable uh, where, where you. 
uh, locate uh, either logistics offices or residential or other uh, um, uh, property. Uh, but on, on the other hand, the, the, the Netherlands is a very high density uh, country. We have uh, 17 million people. Um, I think on the peer list is is uh, getting uh, arranging more affordable housing in the in, in the country, and um, <clears throat> there there's um, the challenge between to get a good mix uh, or, or in in the real estate market to satisfy uh, all demand for logistics for offices for hotels uh, retail uh, uh, and especially uh, residential. So there are some uh, challenges in the in the Dutch uh, uh, market. Um, and and but but we will probably see in the, uh, if we jump to uh, 2021, uh, what we will see happening in the in in the Netherlands is that um, uh, demand from investors will remain uh, there for uh, for logistics, uh, and uh, the competition will be very high, uh, also for uh, tenant uh, uh, demand. Um, and what uh, I think for the next years, uh, because there's a limited pipeline uh, due, due to this nitrogen uh, uh, discussion and, and zoning plan issues, uh, you will see that uh, old logistics sites uh, will be put uh, uh, new life in that by uh, private equity and developers, and they will buy these. Uh, but um, uh, maybe 2021 is still too early to have those converted or redeveloped. But uh, uh, you will see that in the next coming years happening. And 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 yourself as a company, uh, Barbuch uh, HIH, is are, are you actively looking for um, uh, for uh, for logistics uh, properties now? Uh, yes, we, we we surely are. We we successfully closed a, a fund uh, last year with uh, logistics uh, properties in Germany only. And we are currently uh, uh, setting up a, a European uh, fund uh, where um, uh, once we get the money uh, committed and the funds committed, we will uh, um, invest in, um, in in Europe. And uh, the Netherlands is high on the priority list. It's uh, it's number one on the priority list, so to speak. And if you invest, do you do that in, in logistics by yourself or do you team up with, uh, with uh, uh, other parties? How, how does that work? Uh, well, uh, we invest on behalf of uh, German uh, institutional uh, funds uh, and, and German institutional investors, pension funds, uh, and uh, they supply the money. Uh, we uh, set up a fund vehicle. And then we invest directly via the fund into uh, in, into real estate, uh, and and we we deal with that uh, ourselves. We have a team of investment managers uh, assisting from Hamburg. Uh, my, I myself am uh, responsible for in, uh, investment management together with uh, with my colleague uh, Jeff Dijkstra, and uh, we're supported also by uh, Treasury and all those uh, uh, things. So we we deal with that uh, uh, ourselves. Uh, okay. And of course, we use support from uh, from agents, uh, uh, from uh, from lawyers, notaries, and all, uh, everything that's that's needed. Um, um. And 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 every market uh, has its winners and its, and its losers. If if you look at the real estate market, in particular the Netherlands, uh, in 2021, uh, I mean things are easing up a little bit. Uh, 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 people getting more vaccines, life is getting back to, well, something which resembles the, the old normal. Um, uh, what will be the winners, in your opinion, on, on, on the, the mid and long term? And, and which parties will be the losers? I think if you look at the, at the different uh, sectors in, uh, in the real estate market, uh, the winner will definitely be uh, logistics. Uh, um, there is still high demand. Uh, uh, there's also investments uh, go, come, still coming to the market, uh, so that that will definitely be a winner. I think uh, maybe it is an outsider, but will also be a winner is uh, uh, data centers because we see an increasingly uh, uh, demand for uh, for data, and and uh, um, that's uh, not only uh, via. Uh, um, or, via 5G that's being uh, uh, rolled out in the in the Netherlands but the, the total data uh, flow is is, is uh, increasing a lot so I think data centers will will be uh, will be winners um, from for offices I think um, there will not be that many offices traded uh, uh, next year 
for this year, actually in 2021. Um, um, there's not much tenders going on, although there is still demand for core offices, but most deals are done uh, uh, off market uh, at this moment. And uh, tenant demand is, uh, is low, uh, uh, which also uh, means that um, not m many deals will be done on that part. However, supply is low as well. So uh, uh, for in the core segment, uh, we will definitely see deals going on. Um, if you look at residential, that's uh, uh, on, on the top uh, uh, and priority of, uh, of institutional investors, so they will definitely be a winner as well. But it is also the fight for uh, getting the right product and uh, also that uh, product should be uh, available. And, and as we just discussed with the limited supply of land and, and uh, possibilities to, uh, to develop um, uh, real estate. Uh, that will be the the challenge. The the uh, on the negative side, uh, uh, it's a bit uh, what was already happening. Uh, uh, retail will uh, definitely uh, be suffer uh, uh, a lot uh, next year, uh, and so so uh, for hotels uh, uh, for the hotel sector. Um, so um, that, that that's my opinion about uh, the market perspective for for this year. Well, that has all been uh, been very 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 helpful, Reinhard. Thank you so much for uh, for commenting on the uh, logistics market, especially in the Netherlands. And uh, fingers crossed that you will uh, be successful in uh, setting up your uh, Pan European Logistics Fund. Thank you very much, Arnaud, and uh, you're welcome. I uh, was happy to uh, help you out on this. Okay, thank you so much. Yes.